Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our channel. Uh, we are privileged today to be talking with Steve. Uh, Steve is the owner of Gold Shield Cart Alarms, uh, and we're really excited because one of the biggest things we've seen recently in a lot of the villages is that there's some golf carts being stolen. And Steve has come up with a really great product that all of you will be excited to use. Uh, it's a reasonably priced uh, product too. So Steve, welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about golf cart alarms today. Okay. How you doing, Dave? I'm doing excellent. So let's talk about yourself. You said you had a background in police services. Yeah. I'm a retired detective sergeant from the state police in New York. Uh, I did uh, about 33 years in law enforcement. Um, so I have a bit of a security background. And you've been in the villages since 2011. Correct. But the business is new for you. Yes. Yeah, it's just a few months old. We just got it started this year. That's excellent. So what made you think that you wanted to start a business in golf cart alarms? Well, I had an old uh, golf cart that had an alarm in it. Um, and when I went to, to buy a newer one, uh, I contacted the place I bought it and uh, said I'd like to get the same alarm system put in. It was a $500 system. Um, and they said, we can't do it. It's unique to our wiring system. We redo the carts when we get them, yada, yada, yada. So I started looking and um, I found a guy in, in Charleston and we we're kind of partners doing this. And um, we did some modifications to, to the alarms until we got it the way we both want it. And um, that's our product. So. so it came from you wanting an alarm and then realizing that there wasn't really anything in the marketplace that mm -hmm. was available. So you've done all the research you've, you know, fiddled with the alarm in order to make it work. And mm -hmm. now you've got a product that um, if we go to your website, you can see the video. It's basically a motion activated alarm, if that's correct. Uh, it's it's vibration sensitive. That's what it is. It's vibration activated. Okay, awesome. And you've got two products, which we're going to get into. The first product is to protect the golf cart. But what's the second product? Uh, the second product, there, I don't know whether you're aware, but there's a, a rash of golf um, club thefts going on. Um, bags sometimes, but a lot of times just taking a, a, a club or two, somebody's nice putter, somebody's nice driver. Uh, and with the cost of these clubs, I mean, the average driver is $600 right now. A lot of these putters run four and $500. So um, they're, they're going around and just lifting clubs out of people's bags and stealing them. Wow. Uh, so yeah. we decided to come up with something for that. Uh, and what we came up with was um, we have an alarm that's mounted on the underside of the weather canopy. So you put okay. the weather canopy down, which you do anyway to cover your clubs in the, in the summer when the thunderstorms are around. Um, anybody goes to move the canopy at all, the alarm goes off. So it protects, you know, protects not only somebody stealing your bag, but it protects anybody taking a club out. And also, if you have somebody with you, like if you stop after golf, you and your buddy, it protects both of the bags at the same time. Right, right. Let me just, I'm going to share the screen and go to your website real quick here. Okay. One of the things that I noticed was that in your FAQs, there was this first, why do I need a golf cart alarm? And <laughs> you've got a list of this, <laughs> yeah. yes, right? <laughs> these, these, are, these are stories that have been in the local um, news. Um, and it's, it's when I started doing some research into it, uh, the amount of golf carts that are being stolen is, is astounding. It really is. Um, I talked to one of the um, uh, security people from the villages. Yeah. And she told me that there are several a week being stolen. Wow. In the village area. So, you know, and. And I guess you don't really hear about that because it, it's not like it's big news and it's bad news. So right. you try to suppress that type of information. You don't want a whole bunch of people knowing that there's golf carts being stolen three or sure. four week, right? Yep. Yep. So that's cool. The other thing that uh, about insurance, you talk a little bit about that right now you can put thefts in, theft insurance on your golf cart, but this is really like a deterrent, right? It's yes. there so that if someone tries to steal your cart, they're going to get an alarm and they'll be afraid and go on to the next one, I guess, if they have to, but really it's a deterrent to yeah. off of your cart. Right? It, what it does is it goes off and gets everybody's attention in the area. It, you know, it works just like your cart alarm does. Right. You know, it goes off and, and makes a whole lot of noise for a while. Um, people, people that are going around stealing things don't want the attention. They don't want people looking their direction. Mm -hmm. um, 
when they're when they're stealing these golf carts primarily what they're doing is they're going around with a truck and a trailer um you know they got a, a magnetic sign on the side of the, the truck that says bob's cart repair or whatever so people actually see them doing this and they don't think anything of it because right. it looks like just like somebody there's there's dozens of these people that gonna around go around and are legitimate repair people right they have to pick up the golf carts and that's what they do so they just think it's somebody taking one of the golf carts to be repaired it's actually just a thief hiding in plain sight basically right exactly exactly yeah. um insurance there is no deduction at this time but i know that if this becomes more and more popular insurance companies may take this on as a mm -hmm. little bit of a, a cost uh, decrease, I guess, is what I'm thinking. I mean, it, it, it always takes insurance companies a while to give reductions for uh, safety things. And, you know, it took them a while to give reductions for seat belts, took them a while for, for airbags, alarms, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, no, it's true. And, you know, if you, if you have an alarm on your car, sometimes you do get a reduction in your insurance. Mm -hmm. So maybe this will, you know, if you even mention it to the insurance company that you have with your golf cart, they may say, oh, okay, let's look into that because right. a, a de decrease in fee. Uh, activation and deactivation, it's just a fob, just like you just have like your car. car. Right. Yep. Yeah. You just push a button when you get out of your cart and the alarm is set. Right. And this next one's really important to me, and I'm sure it will be important to everyone else. You go right to the house to do the install, mm -hmm. not asking yep. the, the customer to come to you, you go to them. I'll do it right in your driveway or your garage, wherever. Yeah. Simple. What sort of um, time, like how long does it take to put an alarm in, say if you're doing just the golf cart alarm? Um, it depends on the installation. Um, most of them, like I said, are put on with magnets now, so it's very simple. Uh, okay. It takes just a few minutes. Um, there are there are golf carts in the villages. Uh, some certain manufacturers have aluminum frames on their golf carts, mm -hmm. so the magnets don't stick to aluminum. So I have to use the the steel strap. So that does take a little bit longer to do. Um, but normally, you know, I'm I'm in and out of there usually 15, 20 minutes tops. Right. Is there? Do you have to do any electrical wiring, or is it? Nope. No. No. Nope. They're all wire free. They're all rechargeable. Um, so I don't get into your wiring. I don't do any of that nonsense. It's just um, just a very simple, simple, simple way to do it. Small. Yeah, yep. but you know, for what it's worth, you know, the like I know the first golf cart I bought was through the village's golf cars, and it was fourteen thousand dollars, give or take. Mm -hmm. And you know, for peace of mind, I thought, you know, what should I do to secure these? I've got a, an air tag in the golf cart now, mm -hmm. but that really just tells me who stole it and where it is. It doesn't well, yeah. And the other problem with the air tags is anybody with, if it's an air, I air, uh, I tag, uh, anybody with an iPhone, if they steal the cart, they just take their iPhone and buy it and they'll find where it is. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. Easy to find. So that's, that's true. Um, let's look at pricing because I know that you've got a deal going on until the end of June. Mm -hmm. So this is amazing price, 130 bucks for the alarm and the install or mm -hmm. $55 for the golf cart alarm and install. Like the golf bag alarm. Yeah, golf bag alarm. Sorry, how, like how do you beat that? That's amazing. Well, I'm trying to make it so it's affordable to everybody. And, you know, the, the goal would be obviously to, to get everybody's cart in the villages protected so these thieves would look elsewhere. Right. And so, I know right. that you have a double whammy special too, right? Cart yep. and bag alarm for 200 bucks. All it's in. normally 200 right now. I'm running the special. If you get both of them, it's 170. 170. That'll, that'll be through the end of, end of June. I may extend that a little bit. We'll see. That's awesome. 170 bucks. So that's good to know. So 170 bucks for full security on your golf cart, including the golf bag alarm and the golf cart alarm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're really looking to spread your business out throughout the villages and get an alarm on all of these golf carts that are out there. One thing that I did get asked about was if the alarm goes off, does it keep going off until you turn it off or is no. there a timer on it? No, the way these are set, um, the alarm goes off for about one minute. Okay. Um, the cart alarm will go through four different alarm types. It'll go through four different sounds. Uh, then it resets itself, stays active. 
So if anybody messes with it after that, it'll go off again, but right. it'll still, it only goes for a minute. It's not going to, not going to go off. You know, if you're out playing golf and you leave your cart and somebody bumps into it and sets your alarm off, it's not going to run for four hours. Okay, good. Cause that probably run for a minute. Kill the 12 volt battery and then you're really in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and the same thing with the golf bag mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. They work the same way. Okay. And it's just a matter of clicking the fob on and off. And when you get in the car, I know one of the videos I saw was there was sort of a, a preliminary don't touch me alarm before the full alarm went off. Yeah. These, these alarms are actually what they call two stage alarms. Um, there's a couple of reasons why we do this one in case, like you just mentioned, somebody bumps into your car. Let's say you set your alarm and somebody bumps into it. Um, mm -hmm. You don't want the thing just going off automatically. What it does is it gives a signal and goes, eh, eh. right. So it's like, ooh, what's that? Um, and the other problem is sometimes, especially when you first get the alarm, you forget you set it. Yeah. So if you get into the cart, you know, like normal, and the alarm went off, yeah, you, you wouldn't want that. You don't want this thing wailing away. It's 115 decibels, so it's pretty loud. Yeah. So it just does a preliminary, and then if there's anything after that then it goes off full. Right. Okay, good. Yeah. So if you were just sort of forgot that it was on and you jumped in, it would give you a warning and then you mm -hmm. just click your fob and away you go. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. On the website, if you look at a demonstration video, it shows how both of them work. I, I was going to show the demonstration video, but I, I find that the sound doesn't translate very well through Zoom. Oh. So, uh, but the video is underneath this demonstration video here. So if anyone yeah. wants to have a look at it, feel free. They can just click on it and, and have a look at it. It's pretty straightforward. If you ever had a car alarm before, or even just opening the locks on your doors, it's the same mm -hmm. idea. You click the button and it turns it on and turns it off and that's it. Yeah. So what's the best way for people to reach you? Is it through this contact us? Yeah, you can do it either way. I mean, most people end up um, clicking on the contact us um, and I get a text message through the website mm -hmm. uh, and then I just return it. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, I think this is a really great product. I, I, you know, I'm excited to uh, get them on my golf carts as soon as we get a chance to get back down to Florida and have a look. But, you know, I think that everyone should have at least an alarm on their golf cart you know maybe not everyone goes golfing so they don't need that but you know, right for 170 bucks what the heck get them both done and then you don't have to worry about it in the future the other thing that's important is there is a lot of uh, landlords that have rental units that they want to put an alarm on their golf carts just for peace of mind for the mm -hmm. renter too so well, i mean there there are other security measures i've seen um you know the boot that you can put on there's mm -hmm. other there's things that go between the, the steering wheel and the brake pedal they're kind of cumbersome mm -hmm. I'm sure especially if you're talking about renters they're not going to want to get out of the golf cart find the boot put that on get down on their knees you know and do all this nonsense this thing you walk out and you click the button and it's set so yeah, no, it's it's fabulous. I'm really excited to uh, have the chance to talk to you and, and showcase this product. So um, I'll let you go now. Thanks for the meeting. And thank, thank you, you, Dave. Together. We'll definitely be in touch in the future. And I know that we've got some some exciting stuff coming forward with different groups that I belong to. And we'll have you out to those. So look forward to meeting you in person and mm -hmm. best of luck with the new venture. Thank you. Appreciate it, Dave. Awesome. Thank you.